here's a little next update to, for Project Wraith. I've got here the program box for the Hobby King Sensor Brushless ESC that I'm running in it currently. It's just an inexpensive ESC, so I'm going to be programming it. that last video I wasn't running a drag brake it was just on the stock settings and it kept on sliding off as it's trying to do an ascent or descent so it wasn't very good for crawling and so I have to a couple of settings I have to set I have to set the instant reverse that way if I need to get myself out of a situation I can go into reverse right away and so for the settings, I'm going to set that, set the drag brake, although on this one it's only 30% max drag brake that I can do, so I'll have to stick with that. Also the instant reverse, and also I reduced the power to uh, very low as far as uh, startup, so that way I can do more of a slow crawl at this rate. So after I've used the programming card on this ESC, I did some test runs and it's got a lot better startup now. So. I'll be able to feather it in even better when I'm trying to crawl, especially on steep inclines. Um, the ESC doesn't have full settings that you can program in, and as far as the brakes, uh, the well, brakes in forward reverse kind of a setting, it only has either full forward, like in a race kind of a setting without any reverse, and the other one's forward brake and reverse, so I don't have a setting where it's just forward and reverse. So what I did was I reversed the setting on the motor so then I can go forward and go to quick reverse but after going reverse I have to have a pause before I can go forward again which I guess will work out for now. Uh, so after I've, been, I've done all the settings and then did my trial runs uh, testing out the forward and reverse with the drag brake. The maximum drag brake on this ESC was 30%, so I set it at that, which I didn't think it was a lot. It would stop it, but um, I haven't had a chance to run it like on uh, out on rock, so I could uh, do a slow descent if it's even enough to stop it completely, or just a, a slow, or if it's not even enough. So we'll see and after some more trial it runs with that and if it's not good then I might have to go to a different setup. So after that also I started getting some weird sounds underneath. I took it apart, I'd opened it up. Um, it didn't seem like it was coming from the diffs and the axles so I opened up the transmission and I just remembered because I did the same thing on the SEX10 where I stripped some gears. So here's a picture of the stripped plastic gears inside the tranny and that's my replacement uh, steel.